This is DJ Tira. He's one of the biggest DJs in South Africa and owner of the record label Afrotainment. And guys, things are looking bad for DJ Tira. Things are dicey for him. He's into deep waters. I welcome you to today's video. My name is Shooks and this is Powerhouse of Positivity. So DJ Tira is trending as I'm talking to you right now on the street of Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, every social media page and it's because of this lady. Let's call her Luke. So according to Luke, Luke is exposing DJ Tira of sexual harassment. Yes guys, sexual harassment. And according to Luke, Luke is an upcoming musician who attended a party that was hosted by DJ Tera. And during the party, a promise was made to Luke by DJ Tera that she would appear in a music video and get her into the music industry. That was the promise that was made during the party. But one thing led to another thing. According to Luke, Luke woke up blacked out forgot everything that happened during the party and as she woke up examining herself she noticed that something happened so <laughs> so Yam Tembo Gulungulung, Yam Tembo Futong to me, the no Kale Nami, Longi Luluham, and Sabios. Gishop Natokono and Zagala, you mean a Jinga man. And she questioned DJ Tira about it, and DJ Tira said nothing happened. And for the past couple of years, they've been going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth on the whole issue with DJ Tira promising her to pay her money to forget about the whole thing and also promising to give her a music, uh, make her appear in a music video. All sorts of things. I think, according to Luke, Luke has given DJ Tira chances to come clean according to the screenshot that she's been posting since today. She's giving DJ Terra opportunities to come clean and say what happened during the party, but DJ Terra has been uh, avoiding her. Okay, I thought Le is a ruler, is a loser, but clearly it's far from being over because I won't get the sincere apology that I was looking for. Yes, he did apologize. That's all I need from you. Promising her, even uh, going through her friends to kind of persuade her to take the whole post out of social media. But look, it's not backing down. And guys, I have to say, let me share my 10 cent. Luke is an upcoming musician. She's looking for a place to stand in the South African music industry. And DJ Tera is a world, is a renowned South African DJ and a music producer. And owner of a record label. Did something happen? I don't know. I wasn't there at the party. Is this fabricated? I still don't know. I wasn't there at the party. But, guys, but, this is not the first time a lady an upcoming musician accuses a well-known music mogul 
and then pressuring them into taking them in in their music label but then again this is dj terror i haven't heard news about him remember uh these uh Kwabe twins from idols yes if you remember them this these ladies they were abused because of how they looked when they appeared on the south african idol what did dj terror did dj terror because he's from durban decided okay these are my people let me help them he signed Kwabe twins into his record label and nobody has heard anything so for Luke to come up at this moment trying to use what happened i don't know if it happened guys bear with me i don't know if it happened but if it really happened i think the best option for luke is to take the case straight to the police but for her to come on social media and uh, paste her case letting the public decide whether to go for dj terra's head or not i'm against that if something as bad as sexual harassment happened to you the best possible option is not to come on social media and post it no go to the necessary channels go to the police go to the doctors get yourself checked make sure that you have a concrete evidence coming to the street of twitter coming to the street of facebook with a screenshot of text of a whole back and forth test between you and the said person that abused you it's not a concrete evidence as i'm talking to you now there is ai that can generate test message there is ai there is app that can generate test message so what is to say that this is not a uh, an ai generated test message yes people are saying uh, if you go to her facebook it's there on her facebook page yes you can generate anything this might be a plan something this might be something that she's been planning for the last couple of years nobody knows but then again if what she's saying actually happened to her i think uh, dj terra messed up a big time if what she's saying is actually true and it's proven to be truth i think dj terra actually messed up and the police should look into it guys i'll be dropping my voice here and uh, I'll urge you to please like the video, subscribe if this is your first time coming across my channel. And let me know your thoughts down below under the comment section. Do you think that Luke fabricated this whole story? Or do you think this is a made up story to tarnish the image of DJ Taylor? Or do you think that Luke is actually saying the truth? Let me know down below in the comment section and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye bye.